Hey everyone, I've got so much mail piling up, it is ridiculous. So I'm going to go through a couple of mini mails over the next week or so, just to get it out of the way. Let's get going. First one says, AVA3 test pin null null. I'm hoping these are the holder receptacles for my normal pogos. Looks like they might be. Let's see if I can open them without wrecking the bag. <laughs> it's a bag in a bag. Oh, here we go. Awesome. I don't know if I'm going to pull any of these out. What I might do is just show you what they look like in the bag. Otherwise, it's going to go everywhere. Let's get closer. These are actually holders. So you can see they're hollow on the top and they're hollow on the bottom. And the idea is you put these inside the PCB and then you put the pogo pins inside these. So the pogo pins become removable in case they wear out or break. So I'm going to potentially use these on my test jigs. We'll see. I don't even know if they're going to fit inside the holes on my PCB. We'll find out soon. And next we have cables. Be careful where I cut this. I think I know what these are. I hope these are what I think they are. Excellent. They are. So these are USB cables A to micro B. But how do I open that? I'm not supposed to open this. It's a resealable bag, but who cares? Don't even need it to be resealable. These cables have the double sided USB micro B. Let's get it closer again. See if we can see that. Here we go. It's a double sided connector, which means if I get myself a microcontroller from somewhere, let's just grab this breadboard. I can plug the cable in this way and I can plug the cable in this way and both sides work. So my idea was for the test jigs for my Tiny Pico was to supply these cables instead of the normal cables. That way they don't have to worry about, the testers don't have to worry about which way they put the cable in. So I'm not going to potentially break the cable, I hope. These are pretty nice cables. So I got two of them. I got one that was a metre and one that was half a metre, 50 centimetres in length, because I wanted to try the lengths of both. It's got that, I don't even know what type of cable that's called, woven something, don't even know what it's made out of. But these are really nice, very nicely finished. So I wanted to try these, they look pretty good, and I'm going to order some more. Fantastic. Next we have... LCD modules times five. Well, I think we can all guess what these are. Here we come. Okay, these are one, two, three, four, five. All the pins are sticking out. I hope these aren't broken. But these are little screens, the ones I'm using on my test jig. They're I squared C, so it only needs four pins, and they're just white. So I need these if I want to make some more of the Pi based test jigs. Excellent. Next we have description of contents ZIF sockets. I'm going to claim Christos for this one. Nah. It's not his fault. I ordered some ZIF sockets because I only really needed one, <laughs> but um, they came in packs of five. So this is for a programming board that I'm making for my ATtiny 85s, or I guess any type of ATtinys. So right now I've got DIP packages that I work with sometimes, and I've got surface mount packages that I work with sometimes. I'm programming my boards like my tiny devs with pogo pins. Sometimes I'm using my little IC adapter, my Soic to DIP adapter, and sometimes I just want to use my DIP package. ICs and it's a real pain because right now I've got the one programmer and I'm constantly changing cables between it. So I'm going to make myself just a, a programming board that the programmer connects to the PCB and then I've got different adapters on there and I can just put whichever chip I want in and program it. So I've got myself some SIF sockets I've never had any before. I hope these are the right ones. If not, I'm going to be in big trouble. Okay, cool. Five of those. Five? One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Next we have. PCE circuit board kit, PCE electronics microcontroller. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's in a box. Hmm. Oh! I know what this is. Idle Hands Dev. 
Right, so this is from Sean Hodgkins. Wow, didn't even realize this was here. Okay, this is all boxed up pretty well. This is from his Kickstarter. Cannot believe that I had this here and hadn't opened it. Oh, got a nice PC B-Way card. And one of his, okay, that's cool. I got one of his PCB cards, finally. So this is from Sean. This is his PCB card. Apparently, you can stick an IC on this and a USB, and it does something. I don't know, but wow, that's really nice. Matte black, Enig. See, black is sexy. Okay, so this is from his Sandy 21. Can't even remember what the it's called. What is it called? The HCC module. So these are, what are these? Okay, let's have a look inside. I'm just going to take one of these out. It's one of the modules. That's pretty cool. So that's a SAMD 21G on there. And there's a, a regulator, and there's obviously a reset button, so crystal, some little tiny components, and it's got programming pads on there. And so this is designed to be a module that plugs onto any board. Oh, actually, hang on. There you go, that's what it goes onto. It doesn't, it's not a chip. Anyway, it goes onto any board, and that way you don't have to rebuild all of this circuitry all the time. You can just solder a module on. So for instance, let me just open this one. This is an Arduino Uno board. So the same pinouts as an Arduino Uno that you can again put, I don't know which way it goes, but let's say this way, whatever. You solder that on there and you have a SAMD21 based Arduino board. You can put your USB there, LiPo there, and then there's also this board. I think this is the keyboard one. Yes, okay, so again, he's made a whole lot of add-on boards. So this one here, you can solder it onto that. Again, you can put USB so you can program it, because the SAMD21 has got built-in USB. And you can put different buttons on here. And you've got yourself a 2x4 button HID device, because you can do human interface stuff with the SAMD. How cool is that? Thanks, Sean. I'm glad you had a successful Kickstarter. So I ordered the the two pack of them, so I've got two of them in here, and I ordered that as well, and I can't remember if I ordered this or whether Sean just put that in. Anyway, fantastic. Thanks, Sean. Nice plug for Sean. Go check out his channel, Idle Hands Dev. Okay, and lucky last for today, this says printer parts. I don't know what printer parts means. It's in a big box. I don't know what this is. Okay, let's find out. It's very light, so whatever it is, is not <laughs> um, bulky, I don't think. I just don't know why it's in such a big box. What could it be? Printer parts. But it's nothing embarrassing. Wow, this is a lot of... Oh, wow, what a huge lot of packaging for this little stepper. Oh, excellent. I have been waiting for this amongst a few. I've ordered a bunch of different steppers and they're all, well they all have in common is they're all flat or as flat as they can be. I needed very low profile steppers for a project that I have in the pipeline that, yeah, I couldn't do anything until I had these. So this is one of them. I've ordered a few, a few different types. And I believe this is second hand. It looks very second hand. That's okay, as long as it works. That's exciting. This is for an upcoming project. Can't wait to get stuck into this. It's a mechanical project and I'm finally going to actually deliver on my promise of making a mechanical project. I've said it a few times. I've started quite a few. They're on my shelf. This one I really, really want and really, really need. So I'm gonna do it. Okay, that's it folks. That's uh, just a bunch of quick mail. Uh, slowly getting through my mail pile. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and click that alarm bell to be notified of new videos when they come out. Thanks to all my subs. Thanks to all my patrons. You're awesome. I will catch you all next time. Bye.